Highs and lows of this year. Um, I would definitely say that losing to Gdynia uh, in the bronze medal game uh, round uh, was one of the lowest points. Um, a lot because I, I thought we could accomplish more um, and I thought we could beat them and, you know, we just fell short. Uh, that was definitely one of the lows of this year, um, but I think we also had a lot of highs. Um, I think uh, our run against Ortego in the playoffs was pretty special. Uh, you know, they were a seasoned veteran team. They were smart, uh, one of the best teams in the league. You know, I think they finished regular season second or third place. Um, and so for us to beat them, um, you know, in four games, and we, you know, won three out of the four. That's that's pretty awesome. Another high of this season um, was beating CCC most recently at our place. Um, I think that was pretty special. Uh, it was fun. It, we played all together, um, and it came at the right time because we had just took two losses in a row. So kind of our team morale was down. Um, so for us to get that big win against CCC, it was great timing, and it, it was fun. I think anytime you can beat Gorjuf at their place, um, you know, it's an awesome feat because they have the most hostile environment in the league. Um, as a competitor, you love to play there, uh, but it's not easy. And the fact that we beat them twice in the regular season this year at their place, um, I think it, it kind of shows that we've got some mental grit uh, and mental toughness and, you know, we're able to play in, in hostile, tough environments. And we kind of play our best basketball when odds are stacked up against us. I've noticed that about, you know, our team this year and last season. Um, and unfortunately, one of the lows was, you know, they got the best of us in playoffs. Um, they won three out of the four games and was almost a sweep. Uh, we got one good win at their place. Um, but ultimately, you know, they were the better team and, and uh, they played like it and ended up finishing second in the league after finishing seventh in regular season. Good basketball teams come to play every every night, no matter who they're playing, no matter what the competition is. Um, and I think we've got to get better at that. Uh, you know, even evident this season, this 2019-2020 season, we lost at Krakow, we lost at Lublin. Um, those were games that I think in my mind that we should have won. You know, hopefully we can just learn from this, learn that we need to come to play no matter who we're playing. Um, and it's better to learn these lessons early on in the season rather than in playoffs. I think it was solid. Uh, obviously, I always strive to be more and do more. Um, but every single game, I have the, the goal of getting double-digit rebounds. So uh, that's been a goal of mine since I was in college, and it continues to be a goal of mine now that I'm a professional. As far as you know, maybe top performances in the year, um, my games in the Gorjuf series and playoffs uh, were solid. I had solid performances, you know, uh, plus 15 rebounds per game, so um, I was excited about that, but ultimately we lost, so, <laughs> you know, rebounds don't matter when you're when you're losing. At the end of the day, I just want the team to win and uh, for me to have a, a bit of a contribution to that. I think individually, yeah, I mean, I want to get a triple-double. If, if I could get 10 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists, uh, you know, I'd be most happiest about that 10 assist thing. Um, I'm, I'm a pass first player. I, I think people can kind of tell that when they watch me play. I hope they can at least. Um, and so I love to get my teammates involved and, and to see them be successful. And I'd love to get a triple double. So individually, that's definitely a goal. And collectively as a unit, you know, I, I want a medal. I want to go home with, with a medal around my neck and for us to reach our p fullest potential and to accomplish all that we can accomplish. So that's definitely a goal for the upcoming 2020, season, uh, 2020 year. Slezzer fans, I hope you had a great Christmas. Happy New Year's. Stay fly, bro.